So we're going to have a little look at layers in this tutorial. So what you've got to imagine is everything in here is on a layer, almost going back into the screen to coming out forward of the screen. So we can see that this, my picture, is on top of this text box. And we can see that this picture here is on top of the text, and that's what pushes the text out of the way. We're going to insert a picture and we'll see how layers can be used to build up a very nice effect of things being on top of each other. So I'm going to insert a picture. This one I downloaded earlier. And it's not that one. There we are. And it's a picture of the University of Gloucester. And what I want to do when I put this in here is you see it pushes the text out of the way. I want to send it right to the back. So I click on send backward and I can either send it back one step at a time or right the way to the back. Now, because I've sent it to the back, that means a couple of things. First of all, all the text comes on top of it. Second of all, if I click off of it, when I select, I can't actually select the picture. I can do this by dragging over like that and it will select the picture at the back. Now, obviously we can't read this text now, and that's a big problem. So I'm going to move this to the side, like this, and I'm going to put it on a nice tilt. So we can see that we've got this young lady here, her head is on top of the text box, which pushes the text out of the way, which is on top of the photo. We've still got the problem with not being able to read the text though. The way that I'm going to do that is I could make the picture lighter, but then it'd be all very light. I want to get this sense of one thing being on top of another. So I'm going to right click on the text box and format it. And what I can do is I can set the text box to have a white fill. Now if I say OK, what that means is we've got this on top of this and this poking out the edge. But we want to be able to see the picture after all. That's why I've put it there. So format text box. And then I'm going to set the transparency, the see-throughness of that text box. I'm just going to set it to 32%. OK. And you can see we've got this picture coming out the edge there and we can still see it in behind this text box here. If I press F9 to zoom in, you can see how you can really easily read the text and all of the layers go one on top of the other. You could put anything you like behind here, a whole collage of images. So if I insert another image, so I'm going to get a picture and I'm just going to get a picture well, let's put in the students again, like this. And then if I send that to the back, send backward, center back, you can see that they too just poke out the side there and you can read the text on top of them. I'm going to zoom out again and we can start to see how you can build up quite a professional look. You can also put shapes in in exactly the same way. So if I want a star, I think this is going to look a little bit cheap, but still, never mind. If I want to put in a star here and I can change the fill to let's be red and we're going to add text which is going to say first issue and of course I can make that bigger and make the star a little bit bigger so we can see how that starts to then push things out of the way and you've got this layer upon layer upon layer effect have a play with it yourself see what you can do